Hello, Muscle and Strength. This is Callum Von Merger here, three times Miss Universe winner and Team Soco athlete. I'm just about to do an old school chest workout. It's one of my favourites. It's uh, all the exercises that the older, you know, bodybuilders in the 80s and the 70s used to use. It's perfect for building that uh, big, uh, you know, big chest and giving that old classic style look. So first of all, I'm going to do some uh, barbell bench presses. Basically, this is the bread and butter for building a big chest. Perfect for getting a uh, you know a good pump, you know, increase your strength and uh, you know get the uh, momentum started with this exercise. Usually about five sets here. Two sets are going to be for warm ups, and then I like to do three sets, uh, heavy, you know, increasing the weight but decreasing the reps uh, for each set. Rest time is usually about one to two minutes. This way I can uh, make sure that each set I got maximum energy and uh, really get the most out of each uh, rep. Squeeze it and make sure it's good contractions on a. Uh, on every single rep. I've been doing flat bench since I was first ever going to the gym, so I'm very used to the flat bench. I've never had any dramas with it, except when I haven't had a spotter and I had a big ego and I thought I could lift more than I could. I think the one thing to do is like to, a lot of time that when you go all the way down to your chest, it actually starts to work your rotators in your shoulder and it puts a lot of stress on the shoulder joint and a lot of uh, pressure um, in your shoulders. So that's why I stop about an inch off the chest and I don't lock out. I keep it constantly under tension and that way it's always going to be for the chest. Oh. Okay. So that's the first working set, 12 reps. Uh, you know, I could do a few more reps I feel, but I also feel that I want to get heavier and try and get, say, 12 reps on the next set. At the start, rest is usually pretty short, between 45 to a minute. As I get on, you know, if I'm lifting heavy weights or whatever, uh, I can stretch it out to a minute, a minute 30. Uh, honestly, it's how I feel. If I like, right now, if I'm a little bit out of breath, then I wait a bit longer. Just got to sort of feel, just don't rest too long, but rest long enough so you can lift more. I used to try and lift heavy weights, but now it's like, I just try and get a really good pump, good squeeze connection with the muscles. I mean, I'm not a power lifter, I'm not a strong man, so I don't need to lift max poundages. Honestly, I think all that's gonna really do is put excessive amount of stress and, and, and pressure on joints. A lot of the time, I'll do some flies at the start to pre-exhaust the chest. That way, when I do the bench presses, the uh, chest gives out before the shoulders give out. But because I trained shoulders yesterday, they were already flogged, so the chest is gonna, it's just gonna pay for it, you know? After the uh, barbell bench press, I like to do the dumbbell incline press. The reason I do the dumbbells is because you get a more isolated squeeze on each pec. You know, it's an individual arm exercise, so that way you can uh, definitely uh, increase uh, the muscle fibers that are getting contracted for the, uh, the exercise. So I'm going to do three sets here, um, and again, increasing the weight with each set, minimum of about eight reps. notches here. That's flat. Sometimes I'll do it like this for, for another angle or for flies. And the highest I'll go, the incline is there. When it's like that, it's going to get more uh, front, yeah, yeah, front deltoids, the anterior deltoids, and from there upwards, it's going to be all deltoid. So, not too high. Yeah, it has to be below 45.
Previous years, I didn't do cardio. <laughs> Fuck, I used to hate cardio. Still not a big fan of it. It was a, a period of time where I didn't, I don't think I used cardio in my vocabulary for about 24 months. You know, if you've got a good cardio fitness, you've got a more efficient heart, it's gonna be able to pump the blood around a lot more efficiently. Leading into show, do cardio twice a day, 30 minutes, steppers, treadmills, bikes. In the off season, I like to do outdoor activities. I like to go jogging, run on the beach, uh, hiking, swimming, paddle boarding. After the dumbbell incline press, I'm going to do cable flies. This is one of the uh, classic exercises for getting a good pump on your chest. Famous for getting the ripped look, you know. Arnold, Franco, all those old school bodybuilders used to do, always do this one towards the end of the workout just to give it a final, final pump and uh, just to burn it out. Well, 15 to 20 reps is ideal. You know, I'm not trying to lift heavy weights on this exercise. It's all about the pump, squeezing, and just getting as many, uh, you know, reps as you can. Before, uh, before burning out. Perfect for like basically wrapping up the chest workout with a pump. It just floods, you know, floods your chest full of blood. Um, you've done like, you know, the, the, the main presses is where you're gonna hopefully, you know, tear a bit of tissue up. This is just about pumping it even, even more and just basically one of the final crucifies on it, so. Minimum 12 to 15 reps, you know, you wanna be hitting, I try and hit 20 reps. Not heavy, stupid weights, good control, good squeeze. Make sure that your chest is just screaming throughout the whole thing. This is the Cellicor's uh, Alpha Amino Acids. I've lived on this for the last two years during my workouts, and have a look back, it's seriously like, I wouldn't use it if I didn't think it, you know, helped me, obviously, but. It tastes great, keeps me energized, it's refreshing, um, and it's just, yeah, you need aminos during your workouts. One of the most overlooked things are people that struggle to make the mind-muscle connection. They struggle to get in tune with their body and fully focus every single bit of energy and every bit of concentration on that one movement, on the one muscle group. Once you can do that, you know, you really can do some amazing things. After that, dips. Dips are a brilliant exercise for getting an overall uh, stretch on your lower pecs. It's good uh, to do it towards the end of the workout because that way you don't have to add extra kilos to your waist. You're already fatigued, so you can actually get away with just using your body weight. I like to do um, three sets of about, you know, max, uh, max reps. So actually I'll do the first set, I'll just try and do as many as I can. It could be 20, 25 sometimes if I'm lucky. After about 30 seconds uh, rest, I'll do the second set, usually about you know, 10, uh, 15, 20 reps. Again, you wanna just make, make sure that you get the full squeeze. It's gonna help with the overall chest development. And then the last set, just go to failure. Go to you're dead, you can't do any more reps. That's the old school way. You know, no pain, no gain. That's how you gotta do it. There's no set number, just go till you burn out. Okay. Twenty reps, thirty seconds rest. What is the clock? Ch uh, dips. It's the only exercise on chest I rest like a very short amount of time.
yeah, I've got two sets of 20-ish reps, so this one, I hope to get 50. Last exercise is the dumbbell pullovers. Rarely people do this exercise anymore. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why, because I think it's fantastic for building a denser, thicker chest. You know, without this exercise, you're not gonna get this inner chest pump, you're not gonna get the, the thickness in your chest. The trick is always go at least past your head on the on the upwards movement, okay? And at the top, you have to be squeezing every single fiber in your chest. It's all about the squeeze at the end trying to do you know 10 to 15 reps for three sets and make sure that you're getting big breaths big, big deep breaths expand your rib cage this is like an old trick that uh, bodybuilders back in the day used to do but it's a very popular exercise well not popular back then it was to build up the rib the chest also is good for the serratus helps them pop out and the trick is is just again focus on your chest Take your mind off your lats, because of course, you can also do your lats. Do it again nice and narrow. You can get the squeeze on the chest when you want it to do your lats. You get the lat bar, and you squeeze your outer lats like this, so. They do take your breath away. Not because they're attractive or anything like that, but because they fucking kill you. <laughs> Using these basic compound exercises, very simple, nothing fancy, but it's just the execution of each exercise and the timing and all that sort of thing. So. Give it a try on your next workout, see how you go.